Hey everybody, I've got another project for you to work on. Today we're going to be putting a horse head on a horseshoe. Now this is a fun little project to do. Uh, I demonstrate these uh, when we run the blacksmith shop down at Pioneer Park. You can do them relatively quick once you get, uh, get the hang of doing it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, you're going to need a few things to make this horse ho head on a horseshoe. First thing you're going to need is a horseshoe. Now I'm using a double lot plain shoe. Uh, this is a brand new shoe, but if you've got any horse friends or know any farriers, finding uh, old horseshoes work uh, just as well. Um, I like the plain shoes as opposed to a rim shoe or one with heels on it, but you know whatever you can find should work. Um, and for tools, uh, the tools are fairly simple. You're going to need a center punch to do the nose. You're going to need to have a hot chisel for the main and the and the mouth. Um, I use a oval shaped eye tool to do the eye but you could use a round eye tool if you want to or you could use your center punch if you wanted to do that too. And then I have uh, this tool is an ear punch just to give the ear a little bit of character and this is just a little radius kind of tapered fuller tool for an ear punch. So well let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is heat up our horseshoe. If you've got a, if you're using your coal forge, you need to heat up about half the shoe. If you're using a gas forge, it's okay to heat the whole thing up. But what we need to do is straighten out this part of the horseshoe, and we're going to do that over here on the heel of the anvil. Okay. There, you want to get this leg straightened out enough because our next step after we upset the end, we need to come over here and hit on the end of this horseshoe and you need enough clearance here to get your hammer in there. So it's going to look something like that. Okay, now we need to heat up the shoe again and we're going to upset this end and we're going to do that in the vise over here. I'm going to grab this in your leg vise, uh, use a lighter hammer. We're going to be tapping it right on the end of the right on the end of the horseshoe here. We need to upset this end and kind of square it up. This is going to become the nose and the mouth of the horse head. Here we've got our horseshoe hot. We're going to stick this in here, get it clamped down. I like to use rapid blows. Just trying to square this up a little bit. Put a little extra meat there on the end and you can see how that looks. We've got it upset just a little bit. It's a little bit thicker. That'll give us a little bit more material there for doing the nose and the mouth. Now we need to uh, set in some material so we can form the, the jaw or the jowls on this horse, this part right here. And we're going to do that on the corner of the anvil. So we're going to take our piece our horseshoe and lay it right over the corner of the anvil. I'm holding my shoe at a, at a little bit of an angle. This is probably about a 30 or 40 degree angle. And I'm going to use half and half blows and hammer it right in here to neck this down, set it in right here just a little bit. Okay, now I'm holding this horseshoe, oh, about a quarter of an inch, maybe five sixteenths of an inch over the edge. I'm holding this up at a little bit of an angle. My hammer is using half and half blows. I just want to set that down, flatten that out, and there, this is going to become the nose and the mouth. Okay, now we need to do the jowls on the horse head. We need to thin this area out right in here. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do that. One way would be to use a ball peen hammer. And pound on here to thin that out. You could use a, a bob punch, which is just a, uh, a piece of tool stool that's rounded on the end. Um, I like to use my cross peen. 
I like the cross beam, especially this with this, a little bit of a flare on the end. I can have two different radiuses uh, ground on, on this end of my cross beam. So I'm able to get in here and flatten this out. And I'm going to be working on the far side of the anvil to thin this out. So now we need to take our hot chisel and make a cut right in here and that little piece will become the ear. So you might want to use a cut plate on your anvil, just a protective piece. Um, and we're going to put our chisel on here somewhere like this, give it a few hits and split that apart. Okay, so I'm going to get my hot chisel on here. Right about like that. Give it a hit. Now if you can't get all the way through, you can come over here to your, put this in your vise. And take your hot chisel. Give it a few, give it a few licks. So now we've got our ear cut. Now we need to thin this out right in here. Yeah, this is where we're going to bend the, the head over. We're going to bend the head over before we do the eyes and the nose and that. Um, so we need to thin this out and to do that, I'm going to come over here on the horn and use my cross pin and hit this a few times just to thin this out. Okay, I'm going to get out here on the tip of the horn here. And just get this neck down just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to heat this up again. And we're going to cool the head off in water because I'm going to pound on here. And we're going to bend it right in this area right here. And we're going to do that over the tip of the horn. So I'll hold it like that with the head cooled off. I'll be able to pound that down and bend his head around. So there, now we've got our horse head bent over. So our next heat, we're going to flatten out the ear here a little bit and use our ear punch to punch the ear. And we'll use our eye punch to punch the eye and our center punch to do the nose and a hot chisel to do the mouth.
Now I like to angle my punch a little bit when I'm doing the nose, kind of push that material out a little bit. And we'll take one more heat with the hot chisel and give them a mouth. Okay, so I'm just going to put my hot chisel on here. You don't need to cut all the way through. And depending on how you put that chisel on there, you can give them different looks. You can kind of give them a snirky look or make them look like he's laughing. See, now we've got our horse head. We've got the ear, the eye, the nose, and the mouth in. Now we need to do the mane. So I'm going to heat up this area. I'm going to take the hammer and flatten this out a little bit. And then we'll use the hot chisel to put some marks along here to make it look like the main. I'm just going to thin this out, try to spread it out a little bit, make it look a little wider. And now I can take my hot chisel. I'm going to use a cut plate. We're just going to go in here now and Make some marks in here so it looks like a mane. I'm going to go back and get these a little bit wider on the end of this cut. And there's our main. Now we'll take one last heat and heat up the rest of the shoe here, just kind of reshape this so it looks more like a horseshoe. They got it shaped up here. I just like to hammer down these edges a little bit especially on a new shoe. And there's our horse head on a horseshoe. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to do a horse head on a horseshoe. Um, if you have any questions about this project, feel free to contact us at Ken's Custom Iron. Um, you can hit the subscribe button down in that corner down there if you'd like. And if you have any comments to leave, put some comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.